A minus 10 minutes. MCE, report the load relief checksum number. 9-8 Alpha 4. FMA QN, the load relief wind data loading for pass 3B and use channel 6. Report complete on channel 5. Copy, checksum 9-8 Alpha 4. ACC, report fairing inlet temp. ACC Channel 1. 4 5, decimal 0. RCO, report vehicle beacon go on external power. Beacon go. Prop 1, verify engine regulators go. Go. Prop 1, report engine section 10. 82.7. Prop 1, report lube line temp. 75.4. Prop 1, verify booster helium and nitrogen pressures within limits prior to end of built-in hole. Roger, within limits. Prop 1, established vehicle fuel tank vent is closed. Closed. And Prop 1, vehicle fuel tank press open, pressurized tank to 24 to 30 PSIG. Then perform Roger. steps A through B to reset the pre-press bank. QAM? QAM, sir. On page 96, did you get the fairing in that time? Yes, sir. T minus eight minutes. Top two, PSD purge press open. Open. Top two, verify locks umbilical purge is closed. Closed. PTO, verify Fabu and engine heaters are go. There go. PTO, verify overflow line temp rise is less than 12 degrees. Less than 12. T-minus seven minutes. SSC, perform third stage internal transfer. Active. Complete. Prop one, report locks relief plenum pressure. 8.7. Prop one, report locks relief plenum pr temperature. 70.7. Prop two, verify VE locks bleeds and lock start tank venting. Verified. Prop two. Top locks to 100% and verify 100% lock float switch operation one time. Right. And then prop two, allow locks to boil off, maintain lock, locks level between 99 and 100%, report when complete. Roger, welcome. T-minus six minutes. TM2, report internal Batmon bolts. 3-1 decimal five. TM2, report TM Batmon bolts. 3-1 decimal five. TM2, obtain third stage internal internal data trend. Roger. LWO, verify area weather conditions or go for launch. Weather is go. Trends complete. Thank you.
T minus five minutes. SSC perform third stage external transfer. Active. Complete. OSM launch enable closed. Closed. Prop one launch enable on. On. SSP launch enable on. On. ATC three launch enable on. On. Sys verify new. No record on change list activated. Verify. Timer T4, verify the sequencer is holding. Roger. This is Delta Launch Control, T minus four minutes, ten seconds and counting. We're approaching our final built in hold at T minus four minutes. Three. Two, one, T minus four minutes and holding. This is a ten minute built in hold. The next big milestone for Phoenix will be when we get to T minus four minutes and counting when the spacecraft will go to internal power. Once the Delta II lifts off from pad 17A, it will move downrange on an azimuth of 93 degrees, moving out over the Atlantic Ocean in an almost straight easterly direction. The first stage and six of the nine solar rocket boosters will be burning at that point, and the vehicle will then go through the sound barrier about 32 seconds after liftoff. At that point, we should also be getting additional data from the Air Force Tracking Station near Jupiter Inlet in South Florida. Maximum dynamic pressure will be reached at 50 seconds after launch, and the six burning solar rocket boosters will burn out and be jettisoned one minute, three seconds, and the remaining airlit solids will ignite. Those will continue to burn until two minutes, 11 seconds into the mission. And then the first stage will continue to burn until 4 minutes 23 seconds when the first stage will cut off and fall away, setting the stage for the second stage to ignite. Shortly after that occurs, 5 minutes and 3 seconds after launch, the fairing around the Phoenix spacecraft will be jettisoned. Then the second stage will continue to burn until launch plus 9 minutes 21 seconds when it will cut off and the vehicle will go into a 65 minute coast phase. This is one of the longest coast phase the Delta program has had. The vehicle will restart 73 minutes, 47 seconds after launch and burn for just over two minutes. Separate the third stage will 